Now, Siena elimination is a two or four a number of things, but most immediately relevant is that we can use it to solve systems of linear equations. Let's see how. And we'll do this via example. So here's a system of linear equations. Let's put it in row echelon form using, well, I should rephrase that. Let's put its augmented matrix into row echelon form. So its augmented matrix is this. And we'll perform Gaussian elimination. We need a non-zero entry up here. We'll get that by swapping rows. Let's swap the first and the second row. We could just as easily have swapped the first and the third rows. But when we swap the first and the second, we get this. Now we need to make everything below this one be zero. This is already zero, so there's nothing to do here. We need to turn this negative one to zero via addition. One plus negative one is zero. And we already have a one up here, so we don't need to multiply by a constant. Or I guess another way of thinking of that is that we'll multiply the first row by one. And we'll add it to the third row. So the third row changes to that. The first and second row aren't being modified. Everything below this one is done, is zero, sorry. So we're done with this column and we're done with this row. We'll now use this two to turn this negative one to zero. So positive one plus negative one is zero. So we need to turn this two into positive one. We'll multiply the second row by one half. and add it to the third row. Let me see, zero, zero. When we multiply this by one half, it becomes one half plus negative one is negative one half. Negative eight times one half is negative four plus three is negative one. And the first and the second row remain unchanged. Now, how do I solve or how can I solve this system of linear equations? Once we've written this in row echelon form, remember this matrix still corresponds to a system of equations. Let's write that corresponding system down. The trick now, 
we're going to solve this system. And the trick is to start with the bottom and work up. So this last equality that's a solve for Z, we multiply both sides of the equality by negative two, and we get Z equals positive two. Now this next equation working up, because we know what Z is, only involves the variable Y. And we can solve that second equation for Y. Now this first equation, we know what Y is. So this first equation can be written to only involve X. And let me see, X plus four equals zero. X equals negative four. So you see that we have solved this system of linear equations up here. We've solved it down here and got in this triple.